The Perfect Investment. Just when you thought, okay, we're going to find the perfect investment. Um, many people get into the trap of trying to find the perfect investment for them. And for them, I don't mean even an investment. It's this huge owner-occupier lens that's placed on, but to an investment property. So you can imagine if you're sitting in a $1 million place or a $3 or $4 million place, what does your taste become for an investment? Usually, most people start mimicking the nice place they've got for the investment they should have. Some people are great at putting that emotion aside, but a lot of people start to look at where they are, where they're living, what's in their house, and imagine that everyone else who just wants to buy a property or rent a property must have that. Now, yes, there are things that are gonna be important or things that are gonna look at tenant appeal, um, with the type of heating, um, the air con, and a few other factors. But at the same time, there are gonna be data points that would usually show that. All right, how, much, how long did it take for the last listing? And how long is it taking in comparison to the average? How much is it renting out for? Is it renting out for much less or much more than comparables? And the word comparables as well is thrown around far too easily. Um, well, look, that one looks better, but then wait, it's 30,000 more. That one looks worse. Okay, but that's, you know, 20,000 less. So when we start looking at that and, you know, really looking at that investment property, it needs to have that separation from the perfect investment for you versus what the data says. Now, when data comes into the picture, it really can show in most cases some of these nuances which we talked about with listing, um, how much it's renting for, but also how much it's sold for or how much others are selling around it. Other things could be as well is, you know, just in terms of the listing itself. Some agents are fantastic at marketing online and some agents are not so great. But sometimes we've picked up deals that are just phenomenal, but they weren't even looking that great online. You know, photos weren't that average, photos weren't to that level. Um, it, maybe it didn't reflect how it should look in person. But when we went on the ground and we saw it out, I mean, that was looking fantastic. And it started looking much better. And that's where perhaps the open homes that weren't as busy, there could be some reason behind it. People are time poor. People don't have the time to always go out. And sometimes that online feel and look can really dictate a lot. But don't let that stop you from picking up what could be a good investment just because you're trying to fulfill the perfect investment. Now, then the question comes up, if it was the perfect investment, why would people sell, right? Sometimes they do sell because it's reasons that go beyond what the property looks like in the area it is. Personally, financially, family, so forth. So when looking at your next investment property, consider some of the things that are within your comforts but really let the data firstly paint the picture of what people, tenants, vendors, other owners are really painting there. Then from there, start to look at it deeper, but remember to try and not place your bias on it as much as possible, because that will really help you separate your emotions, what you're willing to pay, and what the property may be worth or may represent many years from now, and what the actual investment value is. So that's it from us here at Investigate, the experts in wealth creation, helping you take action.